once in a while, you push hard enough that the light breaks through the clouds, and a world beyond the war glimmers. Behind every gun sight is a human being. We are those people. Promise me that you'll get me back in one piece. Okay, I promise. Come on! You may find you're out there all alone. You know that. You can never stop the progress of machines. If history only remembers one in a thousand of us, then that future will be filled with stories of who we were and what we did. But until that day comes, we will stand. We will look death in the eye, and we will fight. Holy crap, this trailer looks amazing. It makes me interested in the single player element for Battlefield 1. I never really thought I would be this excited to play the single player side of a Battlefield game. This is a franchise that built itself up on a multiplayer only title and only later did it start to introduce a single player element. And historically, Battlefield's had a bit of a rough time with their single player campaigns. Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, they're all taking place around fictional conflicts and the characters themselves weren't particularly well written so it was hard to relate to them. This trailer already has gotten me interested in the characters. I want to know more about each and every single one of them. Not to mention, this is actually the first single player campaign that Battlefield has ever done that's going to be about a historical battle that actually happened, or a historical war that actually happened. Battlefield 1942 didn't have a single player campaign, so as much fun as it would have been to have a World War II single player, they weren't doing it at that time. And really, back in the early days of DICE, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to invest a huge amount of time and resources into a single player when you're not sure if your title's gonna take off. And then when it uh, did take off and Battlefield 1942 was a huge hit, it developed a big audience for the multiplayer aspect of the game. So then trying to integrate single player after the fact has always been kind of a tricky situation, but it really does look like Battlefield 1 is taking a step in the right direction. Now, in addition to this beautiful trailer, DICE has also launched more information about the single player campaigns on the website. And we're actually gonna have a bunch of different campaigns focusing on different characters throughout the war, rather than trying to make one crazy hero do everything that was possible in World War I, we're gonna switch between different characters. One of the first campaigns is called Friends in High Places. The Allies are losing the war in the air. Britain struggles to compete with the German aces and the average lifetime of a combat pilot is 17 days. You must face these bleak odds and take to the skies for a noble fight over the Western Front. Intense dogfights, unexpected encounters, and a story of friendship await you. And of course, we get a few glimpses of this throughout the trailer. It really excites me that there's an entire aerial campaign for Battlefield 1. Air combat has never really been mixed into the single player in a fun or enjoyable way, and it looks like it's going to be much more intense and much more fleshed out in Battlefield 1. The next leg of the campaign is called Nothing is Written. In the Middle East deserts, Arab tribes rebel against the oppression of the Ottoman Empire. The Empire's devastating artillery engage rebel forces wielding rifle from horseback. As a Bedouin warrior working alongside the legendary Lawrence of Arabia, you must find a way to take on the technologically superior enemy and destroy a deadly railgun. Personally, I think I'm most excited for this leg of the campaign because it sounds like there's going to be a lot of horseback combat, but I'm also fascinated by the story of T.E. Lawrence. And if you haven't seen the film Lawrence of Arabia, it's amazing. And you'll also get the quote, nothing is written, as it's such a great line from the film. The next leg of the campaign is called Through Mud and Blood. In the autumn of 1918, British forces prepare for a mass assault on the town of Cambrai, France. With tank support, the Allied command believes a breakthrough is a certainty, but the Mark V tank has one major flaw. 
is not reliable. Join a dysfunctional tank crew who battle their way behind enemy lines as they learn to work together. Now we've already seen quite a few clips of this campaign throughout different Battlefield 1 trailers and it looks incredible. Uh, the Mark V tank is probably one of the coolest looking tanks of the whole war and I cannot wait to play an entire campaign designed around this vehicle. The next leg is called the Vanti Savoia. Italy and the Austro-Hungarian Empire are deadlocked among the Alps. Braced by snow-capped mountains, neither side can find a way to dislodge their enemy. Meanwhile, the Italian Mountaineer Regiment Arditi prepares an unorthodox assault. Don your RDT armor and head up a mountainside as Italian and Austrian forces clash over a strategic fort. Now if you played the beta and you are fortunate enough to pick up the armored soldier, you'll have an idea of what it's like to play with him. A single player campaign revolving around these kind of tactics sounds amazing and if you google image search the RDT soldiers from the war, their armor looks crazy and I just can't imagine trying to climb up a hillside wearing this kind of armor. It's got to be hard enough as is but with you know a hundred pounds of steel plating it can't be any easier and finally the last leg of the campaign or at least the last leg that's been announced is called the runner the British Empire intends to open a new fort to the war with an unprecedented naval invasion of the Ottoman homeland the ships gathered for the Gallipoli landings, the D-Day of World War I, carry over half a million men. As an Anzac runner, you'll witness the heat of epic bombardments and beach landings, as well as covert deliveries of urgent life or death messages from across the front line. Now, based on the concept art, we had already kind of figured out that Gallipoli was going to be part of Battlefield 1. However, it seems like the plot of this campaign is largely inspired by the film Gallipoli, which was one of Mel Gibson's early movies. Uh, in which he actually plays a runner, somebody who has to deliver messages between commanding officers. And it deals with the consequences of what happens when those messages do not get delivered in time. It's so again, another good World War I movie, very, very heavy. Now clearly DICE has the ability to make a very compelling and engaging trailer. The campaigns actually sound really fun and interesting, but again, a lot of this comes down to is the gameplay also going to be fun? Just like with a film, it's gotta have good special effects, good writing, good acting. If any of those areas fail even slightly, it can ruin the entire thing. So hopefully Battlefield 1 still has really compelling and fun gameplay and it doesn't just feel sort of like you're being walked through a campaign on rails. That clip that they used over and over to show off the Battlefield 3 campaign where you're in an F-18 uh, going through aerial combat, that entire mission sequence was on rails and it wasn't fun at all. It was just visually impressive. So hopefully DICE isn't pulling that kind of gimmicky thing again and the campaign feels a little bit more reactive. Again, based on what I see from the trailer, it does look like you're going to have much more control over your own vehicles, including the aircraft. Anyway, I'm incredibly hyped up for the campaign now. The multiplayer has already got me hyped enough. I've never actually been hyped for a Battlefield single player before. So first time for everything, maybe this could be the start of good Battlefield campaigns from now on. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for the single player overview. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you excited for the single player? Are you only excited for multiplayer? Are you going to try both of them? Love to hear what your thoughts are. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.